Hey guys, JP DeRose, we're still at the Shimano booth and we got so many great things to show you. I don't think I have enough time yeah. in a day to go through them all. But a big one, last year we introduced SLX, the 150 size baitcaster, entry level, 99 bucks. Really took the fishing world by storm. So many great reviews on the reel. But this year we really upped the bar. We were coming out with SLX DC. There's also an XT model that has SVS Infinity, but the big thing about this one, same Hagane body, that metal body. Great gearing, it's built exactly like the SLX that we originally came out with, with one major exception. We actually have the DC unit, and it's the same DC unit that comes in Corrado DC. So basically on this, you've got an adjustment on the side, goes from number one to four, and what you're getting with this is that same casting dependability. It's a microcomputer built within this reel. Here's the cool thing. It charges based on magnets and coils. So the inside of the spool has magnets, the outside of the spool has coils, and they are around each other. And as the reel spins on a cast, it creates a charge that powers the microcomputer, which, by the way, is completely waterproof. Nice thing is, so if you're a saltwater inshore flats guy who loves to throw casting like so many do in the Gulf, or you're fishing bass, you're covered. What you have with the settings are one through four. So what we recommend for people is if you've never casted a bait caster before, put it on number four. You can literally cast without ever using your thumb. It's not gonna backlash. Number three we recommend for fluorocarbon application, number two for braid, and then number one is when you got the wind at your back and you need to reach the cheap seats. Get it on number one and it's gonna go there. The way it works with the microcomputer is it actually makes one one thousandth of a second adjustments as your spool is spinning and realizes if your spool starts to spin too fast and create loose line, it applies braking. And as soon as it gets it under control, it takes off the braking. It takes the guesswork out of using a bait caster. This technology won best of show last year for Corrado, the Corrado DC. It's the same IDC4 unit in the SLX DC. Nice thing is this reel is also available in three gear ratios, 6, 3, 7, 2, 8, 2 to 1, both left and right-handed, all for $179.99. Are you kidding me? This is a reel you need to check out, the new SLX DC. Oh. My name's Chris Irons, I'm with Boat Paddle Boards. I'm the national sales manager for the company, and I'm here today to talk with you about our Aero Rover. So, the thought behind the Aero Rover uh, was we wanted to take the skiff boat style rover that we have uh, with the gator shell technology, our hard version, and we wanted to allow the customer to be able to utilize everything that we have on that in a more compact uh, and easy to fold up and, and put away format that you see here. So this is actually all inflated. So the specs and dimensions on this particular craft is 12, 12 feet 6 inches in length and 40 and a half inches in width. And what that's going to give you is a ton of stability. Uh, you've got a recessed deck in here which is going to get your feet closer to the water line, allowing you to have even more additional stability. So that's going to keep the boat really nice and stable when you're out in the water and if you get into rougher conditions in the chop and those sorts, sorts of conditions. So the way that we outfit this board is we have the paddle, three-piece adjustable paddle that comes with it. We do the paddle sheath that holds that paddle when, when you're not using it, when you're just standing in the craft and you're just out fishing or just spending time hanging out, you can put that paddle there and get it out of your way. We have an accessory option of a uh, grab rack and this is going to allow the customer to, to sit here and grab and brace themselves on this rack when they're driving the boat. Then we'll come back to the cooler which doubles as your seat. So what we have here is our bucket rack that fits seamlessly into the board through our connector points here. And then that is going to frame and house in our cooler. What it is, is it's powered with a six horsepower motor. So this is the motor that we put with this and what we pair with it. This goes in on our patented motor rack mount, which fits into these channels that you're seeing here. It mounts in there, and then the motor will lock in 
and sit in place as you see it on the rack. We actually teamed up with Power Pole. So we allow you to actually hook a micro anchor through them onto your cleats on the back and actually be able to have that micro power anchor system right there on the back, which is gonna be a great way to be able to anchor this boat, especially when you get into the choppier, rougher conditions. It's really gonna allow you to, to, to anchor that in there confidently. What comes with it standard is our sand spear sheath, as you see here. And this seamlessly just screws right into the, to the rover. You can take that same sand spear that we've got back here and you can manually run it through and anchor the, anchor the rover down. Another great feature is our sand spear holder. So when the sand spear is not in use, you can actually hook the sand spear, lay it on the board, and then secure it with our double-sided Velcro straps. How long does it take to inflate? So inflation time, we include a, a, a power pump on it with every Aero Rover. Inflation time is about 15 minutes with that okay. pump. Now you do get included a hand pump as well. Uh, that comes with it additionally. So you've got two options on it. Um, obviously the power pump does it much quicker, uh, but you do have that as an extra option. So I always tend to power the, use the power one on the front, and then, then do it by hand on the nose, and that way it's all kind of done at the same time, which is, which is an easy way for, to do it. So, good idea. Yeah. So um, a couple of other just cool features to touch on um, are Scotty docks, which we run these all down both sides. So this is gonna allow you to put extra accessories in here, both those, both those in, like uh, ram mounts, those sorts of things. So all the different accessories that you wanna add, you can. Um, we include with the board our vertebrae system, which is, are these here, which you get three of these, and these screw right in here as well. And you can actually take the sand spear additionally or a fishing pole or anything like that and you can actually configure these to be able to yeah, well, hold those in place. Yeah. So it gives you another way to accessorize the rope. So how much does it weigh? So weight on, on this is, is around sixty pounds. Oh so it's nothing. Fully fully inflated and outfitted, you're looking at around a hundred. Okay, and that's gonna be inclusive of the six horsepower motor. So, not very much when you're talking about what you have here. So, last and most importantly, in my opinion, is the fact of transportation and yeah. where you're at with it. This so is it. This, this whole, excluding the motor, is going to be in this bag that you're seeing here. So, this is our patented dry bag with roller wheels. Oh, so you guys are transport. really thinking. You've got your skid guards on the bottom, which is great if you know, you're taking it on a plane and you know they're rough with luggage. So this is a great way to keep your rover protected uh, and make sure that it doesn't get damaged. So you'll have that bag is included with the product price. Uh, and to touch on that briefly, uh, outfitted with the six horsepower motor, you're looking at $29.99. And that's gonna be for, your, for the rover itself, the bag, paddle, the paddle sheet, the vertebrae, again, come with that, the sand spear sheet that we talked touched on earlier, and then your motor rack, and then of course at that price, that will get you the motor as well. If you decide you want to use this more as a standard SUP, and the motor portion doesn't interest you, then we have these available for $19.99. So awesome. Where can they find out more information? So just go to boatboard.com, check us out there. Also, we have a ton of uh, dealers all over the country. We have a dealer locator, so you should go. I encourage you to go check out your local dealer as well. But if you need anything, any help on it, please contact us directly, and we'll be glad to, glad to help you. Thank you, dude. Thank you. All right, hi guys, Shane with High Water Fish and Lures. We are in Orlando at ICAST 2019, and we want to introduce you to some new products. So what we have is a, a four and a half inch get em shad. Uh, it's very unique soft plastic. It's made with a medium hard composition in plastic. 
It's got a big old paddle tail for maximum action. Um, it's uh, scented with anise oil. We have 29 fantastic fish catching flavors with some one-off triple laminates that you haven't seen before that are annihilating trout all along the Gulf Coast. Where can you find us? www.highwaterfishandlures.com If you're interested in getting our products in a retail shop near you, reach out to us. We would love to expand our products and get them out into your fisheries. Why? Because we know they're going to catch fish. Look at our spinnerbaits. We're not only committed to the saltwater line, we have freshwater spinnerbaits. We have a saltwater get them spin with a number three ultra deep Colorado blade for maximum thump and vibration. Look at that blade. You haven't seen anything like that. High quality stainless ball bearing swivel uh, uh, on there to make sure that that thumper just keeps thumping. Look, this is a new product we have. It's called the Undertaker. We're going to manufacture this product in three sizes. 3 16 ounce, 3 8 ounce, and half ounce. What's different about this product than anything else? All of the head weighted underspins have an exposed hook similar to this setup here. Well, we all know that you can't fish an exposed hook and thick cover like grass beds or, or shoreline cover. So what we did was we developed this product on a 4 aught extra wide gap, Gamagatsu hook, sharp as all get out, and allows for a weedless setup. And you can show them here in these packages how they, how they are, are set up. That's going to allow you to fish deep grass beds and get down to the bottom of those grass beds, deflect off cover along the shoreline. Look at our jig heads. Gamagatsu hooks again in four different sizes from 1 8 ounce, 3 8 ounce, 1 quarter, and half ounce. Super sharp Gamagatsu hook, 28 degree line tie, custom design to match up and marry up perfectly to our soft plastic swim base. Captain George is going to tell you a little bit about the carks, but before I let you go, we come eight to a pack, and your retail cost on them is $4.99. We are high water fishing lures out of Louisiana. We also had the most durable cork on the market with surgical titanium wire. It won't bend, it won't break. It also, we also designed a patent striker stem to where you can transfer the sound from the top to the bottom into the water. You can also create a high pitch and a low pitch based on the material that we shoot it with. There's no other cork out there like this. There's a lot out there that look like it, but there's none like it. Four different sizes too. We got four different sizes. You can look right here. We have the crappie cork for sacolay, crappie, brim. We also have the um, the shallow water popper for marsh fishing. We have the um, the um, the deep cup popping cork. We have the four inch popping cork. We have the sight fishing cork, which is the junior popper. This is a sight fishing cork that's got a deep cup in it to give you a little bit more pop. They're a lot lighter cork, so when you cast it, it don't splash. This is one of our new ones right here. People are going crazy over. That's real good for trout fishing. You can use a lot of this in fresh water. Also, right here we have a, a 316 stainless steel with a floating handle on it, um, torque on there. It's been um, got two layers of um, polyurethane, um, catfish D hooker. I mean, you can't go wrong with it. There you go. That's high water fishing, Lewis, guys. Check us out. We're from Louisiana and we got quality. That's what we made of quality products with innovative solutions to help you make your job easier, and that's catching fish. I'm Larry Rankin, General Manager of Duck and Fishing. I'd like to talk to you about the exciting new products that we have at ICAST this year. I'm really excited for the first time to introduce a spinning reel. It comes in three price points, $99, $149, and $199. It's a 5-3 ratio, two spools, $2,500 and $3,000. Come on the same ultralight body, 10 bearings. It's a fantastic reel. Really excited to introduce it to the market. How much is it? 99, 149, and 199. Three price points in each of the 2,500 and 3,000 spools. So a total of six spinning wheels. Nice, inexpensive. Inexpensive, and we have been testing these for a couple of months. Boyd's been testing them on the tour. I've been testing them on my own boat. Fantastic product, very, very excited about it. If you want more information, go to duckatfishing.com. Duckatfishing.com. Let me talk about our casting reels next. 
introducing two new casting reels. By the way, this family of reels is called Paradigm. And we love the tagline, make the shift to Paradigm, because we are so proud of these products. We believe that many, many people will make the shift. We have two price points, $199 and $249. 11 bearings, three ratios, 6, 8, 7, 5, and 8, 3. And we have a 100 and 200 spool. Again, these are $199 and $249 with two different spools, so a total of, of four reels. The black one called CRI and the white rod, or rather reel, called CWX. Hey, I'm Mike Frenette. A couple years ago, Boyd Duck had contacted me. Everybody knows Boyd because he's made some fantastic freshwater rods and very popular freshwater rods throughout the country, throughout the world, really. And he contacted me a couple years ago and says, Mike, what do you think about us getting into the inshore, the saltwater business? And man, I'd love to, because your rods are awesome. He said, well, listen, why don't you help us? Why don't you work with us and develop a great line of salt series inshore rods for the average angler, for the, for the, for the weekend person, or for the tournament angler? I said, I'm all in. And so we really spent a lot of time the last year developing the blank, developing the guides, developing the real seat, developing the foregrip the rod butt and we've come up what I think there's no such thing as a perfect rod but this is about as close as you're gonna get and it may be the perfect rod for the anglers we've got a parabolic blank and what a parabolic blank means is that it can bend from the tip of the rod all the way to the foregrip where the real sit is so that means that whether you're fighting a one pound or a two pound speckled trout or a 40 pound redfish or anything in between, let's say a 35 pound Jack Ravel, a 20 pound snook, a permit, whatever, you're gonna have the sensitivity yet the strength to battle these fish, whether it's small or big. And that's what's really cool about it. These rods are so lightweight action because of the parabolic blank, because of the guides that we've, that we've picked, because of the EVA foam on the foregrip, and the, co the cork in the middle and the EVA form on the rod butt. And the, what I've designed on the seven foot six spinning rod is designed for a lot of different reasons. There's a tremendous amount of popping cork saltwater anglers from North Carolina through Texas and even further north. Popping corks have become a real go-to technique to catch saltwater fish, whether it's speckled trout, redfish, whether it's snook, whatever. Even tarpon fishermen are using the popping corks now. So what this rod does, it's amazing. You don't have to work hard to pop the cork or get the action on a top water bait walking the dog. It's so lightweight, and because of the parabolic bank, just a little bit of twitching or a little bit of action will make that popping cork make the sound attract the fish to come to you. Gone are the days where you have to use a heavy rod for a popping cork, and at 12 o'clock you say, I gotta go home because my right arm is just totally worn out. I think I might have to get it replaced. But no, you can fish all day with this rod with any type of technique. So uh, that's what I love about it. And what I love about with working with Boyd and the team at Duck and Fishing is that we didn't just design this rod and go overnight and put it together. We spent a year, we had some thoughts, we had some ideas. We had some thoughts and ideas that just probably weren't the best ideas, which was great. We threw those out the window, grabbed better ideas, and through a team effort, come up with what I think is gonna be a great, perfect rod for the inshore fishermen. How much are they? Now that's a darn good question. I believe, let me ask Larry, but I think it's, I think it's 129 or 139. Well, let me find out before I say it. Larry, Larry, retail, excuse retail me, I'm sorry, 49. Okay, all right. So the price point is really affordable for anglers. It's $149, and there's rods that go up to three, four, five, six hundred dollars that, as far as I'm concerned, do everything or, or do less than what this rod is. So for $149, you've got a rod that you can go out and fish two pound speckled trout, 40 pound redfish, and everything in between. It's lightweight, it's strong, and remember the parabolic blank. That's what separates it between a lot of other different rods that are on the market. Awesome. Ducketfishing.com? Yeah. Hey guys, you want to check out these rods at ducketfishing.com. 
and you can check out the line of salt series and especially my signature series, the seven foot six spinning rod and the seven foot bait caster. Thank you. Hey, I'm Matt Fraser from Baramba Lures. I come all the way from Australia to iCast 2019 and I'm here showing off my range of nine hard baits to trying to get them into the, into the state. So I've got some, uh, some different sort of baits. Everything I, I have is a little bit different, a little bit creative. We've got, you know, we've got creature baits, we've got birds, we've got lizards, we've got some craze here, and they've all got a unique interchangeable feature in them. So every single one of them has a threaded screw and nut set up with a stainless steel screw. So this is our mullet, our six inch lazy mullet. So we can change the weight out to make this thing. We can fish it in two foot of water, or we can fish it right through to 20 or 30 foot of water. That's our weight, so we can fish. We can put plastic blocks or lead blocks and change them out to make it lighter or heavier. And uh, he goes back in there, screw him up. It's about a 30 second job to change the weight out. And that's good to go for a deeper depth. Uh, you can, it's got a super lifelike action. This is the same as the bony shad as well. That's that guy there. It's more of a shad or herring uh, uh, sardine profile. And they've also got these aluminum fins on the side and a toe point on the head, so it keeps them really late, level and stable in stability in their action, and it also keeps them tracking deep as well. So these are, yeah, the Bony Shad and the Lazy Mullet from Baramba Lures. Uh, check us out, uh, www.barambalures.com, um, and you'll see all our baits there. And we're also on Instagram and Facebook. Also, let's see the lizard. The break lizard. out the lizard. Right Do me there. a favor. Break out the lizard. Okay. I know we're doing this spontaneously. I want to see the lizard. We got three different types of lizard. This is a little guy, the baby bidjiwong. We got what do you call it? A bidjiwong. So it's an Aboriginal Australian indigenous word for a water dragon. Okay. So we have these guys around our water holes uh, in Australia, and we go right up to this big guy here. So he's uh, 11 and a quarter inches long and uh, three and a half ounces. So also interchangeable system, fish it as a weight bait or you can fish it as a paddler. So you can change change the bibs out, that's the paddler bib there. So Now all that stuff comes, when you buy one, all this stuff comes, you even yeah. put a, a little screwdriver with it, don't you? Absolutely, that's the packet right there. You've got a spare bib, sorry, you've got the weight bait bib in it, we've got the paddler bib, we've got the screwdriver, and you get spare screws in there as well in case you lose it. So that's the, uh, yeah, Bramber Bidgewong 285, that one there. See, I think that's money where I, where I fish. Yeah, absolutely. So it comes, these guys come to their parts containers because they've got the plastic and lead blocks and also a spare screw, screwdriver. Good to go, dial them into whatever depth you want to fish them. Super lifelike action. And uh, yeah, really keen to uh, get these guys into the States. We're looking for distribution. We're looking for... Uh, you know, retailers who want to take them on and uh, just trying to get the name out there. Awesome. It's, there is the logo. That's how you spell it. Baramba Lewis. B-A-R-A-M-B-A-A. -A. Thank That's you. It. Thanks very much. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>